Let's analyze this circuit here and see if we can determine which the diodes are conducting. You'll notice that this is very much like the circuit that we had before. We have the two diodes, D1, tied to ground on the one side. We've got a 10 volt here, minus 10 volt here. The only difference is that the previous example we had, this was the 10 kilo ohm resistor, and this one was the 5 kilo ohm resistor. This one was 10, this one was 5, and now they're reversed so that this is a 5 kilo ohm and this is a 10 kilo ohm. Now in that last example, we determined that both of them were conducting. So let's just start out by assuming both are conducting here also. Once again, that would give us um, 0 volts here, so V sub B would equal 0. Now ID2, the current coming down here, this time ID2 would equal 10 volts minus 0 volts. This time it's divided by 5 kilo ohms, or that would be 2 milliamps. Now, the current coming down here, we can call it I5 again. I5 again would equal 10 volts, or 0 volts here, 0 minus a minus 10, or 10 volts, divided by this time we've got the 10 kilo ohm there, which is then 1 milliamp. All right, given our assumptions that both are conducting, if I've got 2 milliamps coming down here and only 1 milliamp going here, that would require 1 milliamp going in that direction, but this diode does not conduct in that direction. This diode is connected to conduct only in this direction. Therefore, because I sub D would need to be a negative 1 milliamp, this assumption is not correct. So, back to the drawing board. This time, let's assume that D2 is conducting, or that it's on, and uh, D1 is not conducting. If that's the case, D2 is conducting, D1 is not conducting, then I D2 coming down here would equal, have to equal I D5. So I D2 would equal, um, Let's see, what would it be? Coming across here, 10 to minus 10, it would be 20 volts, divided by the 15 kilo ohms, like we had before, that would be 4 thirds of a milliamp. Now, what would V sub B be if this was the case? V sub B, once again, would be negative 10, plus the voltage drop across this 10 kilo ohm resistor, which would be plus... 10 times 4 thirds. Well, 10 times 4 thirds is 40 thirds positive. This is negative 30 thirds, so negative 30 thirds plus 40 thirds, that would be a positive um, 10 thirds. So if this voltage here was 10 thirds and this is zero, that would in fact reverse bias this diode and make it so that D1 was not conducting, which was what our assumption was. So as long as D1's not conducting, everything works out right, and that turns out to be the correct state of the circuit.